the Zoom or for those of you that are here live on the Facebook or for those of you that are here on the replay. Uh, we do want to welcome each and every single one of you to our presentation tonight. In fact, I'm going to go off script a little bit tonight. I was just showing a buddy of mine um, a news clip uh, from NBC. And I think it's a pretty potent news clip. It kind of shows you why we're doing what we're doing, you know, why we're booming as a company. It's one thing for me to say it. It's another thing when you get to hear it from uh, NBC themselves. Uh, the clip is only two minutes long. So let me grab that clip. I'm going to play that for you because I think that's going to shed a lot of light on you. In fact, I'm looking to actually see if I can't make a video, a permanent video uh, surrounding this particular clip. And again, I was just showing it to somebody a moment ago. Uh, and this is totally unplanned. Just gave me the thoughts on the hash. I should show that to everybody. A lot of people have never seen that before. Um, and of course, this was their investigative reports uh, clip that they did, um, uh, that they put out. And hold on real quick. They're playing an ad right now. So give me a second here. We'll uh, get this all loaded up for you guys. So again, I want to welcome you guys. We're going off script here a little bit, but I think you're going to dig this clip. It kind of shows you the power of what we're doing, uh, why what we're doing is so needed, um, why it's exciting to be involved with our company, especially at this time. Hold on, I'm going to grab that. There. All right. Yeah, they're still playing commercials over here. In travel sites and scour them looking for the best hotel deal, you may be actually wasting your time. NBC4 consumer investigator Randy Mack is here to explain how that works. That's right. There's a reason these deals look similar. And the problem is that these third-party sites often fall under the umbrella of one or two companies. So while you think you're searching for multiple companies looking for the very best deal, every deal you're considering may actually be from the same company. Many savvy travelers look for the best hotel deals online. I usually look at sites that kind of claim to have the best deals. It seems like there's a lot of competition. I've used Expedia, Travago, there's Booking.com. Always looking for a bargain. I like to see the red numbers that make you think like you're getting a good deal. But that may not be the case. Almost all those sites are owned by one of two companies. According to the nonprofit Consumers Checkbook, Expedia and Booking Holdings owns 95% of third-party booking sites. That means shopping around may be a waste of time. And Checkbook says calling the hotel directly won't land you a better deal. They're hesitant to undercut the booking sites. Now that they have 95% of this market share, they are insisting that hotels offer every room at the same price across all booking channels, including the hotel's own websites. Checkbook says it looked up 3,500 hotel rates on 18 different booking and hotel sites and found few price differences. We checked sites for a weekend getaway to Palm Springs and found the same thing. In response to Checkbook's study, Expedia said the foundation of our business is matching travelers with the best hotel at the best price. It also said travelers can save up to 10% on over 175,000 hotels. Booking Holdings said it has absolutely no control over prices, which are determined by the hotels themselves. Travel blogger Jennifer Yellen says travelers need to look for other ways to snag deals, like joining a hotel's loyalty program. They're really trying to get you. All right, so I do want to play that clip. A lot of people have never seen that clip before, but again, that's NBC investigative reports. It's something we talk about all the time on this Zoom that we bring it up on a regular basis. But some of you, it's one thing to hear from me. It's another thing when you're like, oh my gosh, that's true, right? I mean, there is you, you're out there price shopping. You think you're looking for a good deal, but the truth is they own everything. They bought them all up. The idea that they have no control over price, obviously, uh, that's just not true. Uh, they are controlling the entire market because they own the entire market. And so that's what kind of created what we call Trevorium. 